Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new and updated actor core character types and how we can customize them with additional color schemes on top of the original one. On the actor core actor page, you can see that there are a number of actor and combo packs that have a color swatch on the thumbnail. If I click on one of the characters, you'll notice that there is a color swatch that appears on the top right of the preview window. When you click each color, the character's clothing will change to the accompanying color theme, complete with different combinations of hair, skin, color, and clothing. In the download settings, you can choose the iClone Character Creator preset, and you'll find a checkbox to download all texture sets. Be sure that this is checked if you want the color schemes we just saw. After that, go ahead and update the Content Manager to see your newly acquired characters. I'll start by loading in the character we just previewed first. You'll find the material options that we saw earlier in the Material Plus folder under Stage. It's a good idea to enter the character model name into the search field to filter out the other unnecessary material presets. You can see the same five presets that were shown earlier in the Actor Core preview window. Simply click and drag the templates to see the result. Let's look at the same workflow, but this time using Auto Setup to get our models into Blender. In the Download settings, I'm going to choose Blender this time. You can click the link below the Target Application dropdown to go to the Auto Setup page to ensure that you have the latest version. If you're unfamiliar with the Auto Setup plugins, please be sure to check out our Reusing Courses page to learn more about them. Ensure that Download All Texture Sets is checked once again, and then proceed with the download. You'll get a zip file that contains a number of folders for each character included in the pack. If I go into the folder for the Business M022 character, you can see an FBX file along with three texture folders. If Download Material Sets is not checked upon download, then there will only be two texture folders here along with the FBX. However, since we had that checked, we have a Texture Sets folder, and inside you'll see the different color schemes, each with their own folder. You can see if I load up the diffuse maps from each separate folder that each one has a unique color scheme. There are differences in the clothing colors, but also slight differences in hair and skin color as well. Okay, let's load up our character in Blender now. Once the Auto Setup plugin is installed, you can hit the N hotkey to bring up the plugin window. To import our character, let's click on Import Character and then choose the main character FBX. If I switch Blender's display mode to render, you'll be able to see all of the textures have already been converted and applied automatically. In shading mode, you can see the structure of the texture nodes. The Auto Setup plugin will use the 00 texture set by default. To utilize the other color schemes we saw earlier, we can simply load up the respective diffuse maps into the diffuse node. This will replace the color However, it is also recommended to replace all of the other textures as well, particularly the metallic and roughness ones, if the material is meant to be something different, like going from cotton to leather. In this case, the materials are all similar, so replacing the diffuse map only is sufficient. Okay, lastly, let's look at the process if you're not using the Auto Setup plugin, or if you're using other software that doesn't have an Auto Setup plugin yet. In this case, you'll need to manually apply the textures. I'll start by importing the FBX from the File menu. In Render mode, we can see that the textures are displayed incorrectly. In this case, the Opacity Display mode is incorrect. With the character mesh selected, I'll go into Material Properties and switch the Blend mode to Opaque. Now we're getting there, however there are still some textures missing. In Shading mode, we can see that only the Diffuse, Opacity, and Normal textures are assigned. The advantage of using Auto Setup is that everything is assigned correctly right off the bat, including other textures like AO, Glow, Metallic, and Roughness. In this case, I need to import these texture maps all separately and plug them into the respective properties of our main principal BSDF node. Again, be aware of the different color schemes in their respective folders. All of the color space properties should be assigned to non-color in Blender, with the exception of the glow map which plugs into the emission property. For the diffuse map, you'll want to add in a mix color node and change the blend type to overlay.
The ambient occlusion map also plugs into this node, and you can add a color ramp node to customize the end material result a bit more. This allows us to determine the strength of the AO map as you can see here. These embedded color schemes in ActorCore allow you to quickly and easily customize your model appearance with a couple of clicks to provide a larger variety of visual options from a single character. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.